everyone, I'm Kyla from Zuzuro, and this here is Chloe. And today, we're going to be talking about if chinchillas are considered to be hypoallergenic. Before we start, make sure to come check us out. We have tons of high quality products made by pet lovers just like you. Check out the link in the description below to get 10% off your first purchase with our special YouTube viewer code. All right, let's get started. The term hypoallergenic refers to an animal that produces a low amount of allergic reactions. And these reactions aren't as severe as an animal that isn't hypoallergenic. The three substances that pets produce that can cause allergies are urine, dander, and saliva. If saliva affects you, it most likely won't be a problem in chinchillas. Chinchillas don't drool unless something is wrong with their mouths. If a chinchilla feels threatened, they are not inclined to bite you and instead will make a warning call and try to jump away. The only time that they may nibble you is if they think your fingers are a treat, but these are painless nibbles and do not generate a lot of saliva because they only nibble with their teeth. As for dander, chinchillas produce very little dander and the dander that they do produce gets caught in their extremely dense fur. This makes it so the dander doesn't fall on you or the ground. This means that as far as dander goes, you most likely won't have a problem with it. Chinchillas do shed or prime their fur twice a year, once in the spring and again in the fall. During this time, your chinchilla will shed their fur to prepare for the next season's weather. But because they produce such little dander, this shouldn't be an issue because as long as you maintain regular dust baths of two to three times per week, the small amount of dander that your chinchilla produces will come out during their dust bath. Lastly is urine. All animals have to urinate, but chinchillas do not have nearly as many allergens in their urine as rabbits and guinea pigs. I myself am allergic to guinea pig urine, but these little guys don't give me any problem. If you have guinea pigs, you know that they pee a lot, but chinchillas don't urinate nearly as much, and they don't have as many allergens in their urine. If you are extremely sensitive to animal urine, there are some ways that you can get around it. For instance, chinchillas can be litter box trained to pee into a litter box, which can be cleaned every day. You can also use gloves when dealing with the urine. As far as chinchillas go, they are the most hypoallergenic pet that you can get and have an extremely low chance of causing allergies. If you did get a chinchilla and are experiencing allergies, here are some tips to help minimize your exposure to these allergens. Check to see that you aren't allergic to their foods. Hay has been known to cause allergies that are similar to pet allergies. If it is the hay that is causing your allergies, you'll want to wear a mask and gloves when handling the hay and close their hay bag or keep the hay in an airtight container. Make sure not to place their cage into your bedroom because you typically spend up to eight hours a day in there. When your chinchilla is having a dust bath, you'll want to stay out of the room for 10 minutes while they're bathing. You can even put a sheet over their cage while they take a dust bath so dust doesn't fly all over the room. Bathe your chinchilla two to three times per week and change out the dust once a week because the dust will contain their dander in it. Get an air purifier that can remove dust and allergens. This is useful not only for allergens, but also if you have asthma or if there are wildfires in your area so you and your pet aren't breathing smoky air. Place the cage in a well-ventilated room, such as a living room. You can also wear a mask and gloves when cleaning the cage to minimize your exposure to the urine. And if you have a backyard, you can also take your chinchilla's cage outside when you need to clean it. I hope that this video was helpful for you and you're able to learn more about how chinchillas are considered to be hypoallergenic, as well as how to minimize your exposure to their allergens. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe for more critter content. It really helps us out. Thank you guys so much again and we'll see you in the next video.